old beats like it used to do, or is it all new beats? It has it has everything on it is new. It's like a, a LP. Oh, okay. It is like an album. It's just I uh, got a chance to do the talking that I do on the mixtape. Oh, wait a minute. The, the end of the song, yeah. 50? Oh, shit. <laughs> to get that energy that I give on the actual mixtape, I got a chance to do that. But So all original production? All, all original production. Yeah, and it's, it's like I've took inspiration from certain things because it's been, been 10 years and I called the tape the Big Ten. The first song, Stop Crying. So I took content from a biggie joint. Stop the blood clot crying. So I put big on that. People don't actually uh, understand half half the time. They don't acknowledge my they, thought process. Yeah, they, they, they don't pick it up. But yeah, and don't know you know what I was thinking when I did it. But that's why it was the first thing to come out because it was the big. And actually, I get a huge response, a good response from it. People like it, but it's not the strongest song on tape. Like they don't hear a lot of stuff on it that make people go. And it'll build the anticipation for the release of the record because it's right. Is it just you on it? You got any big guest guest appearances? Well, you know what I did? I'm introducing the new regime. Oh, the new G unit? Yeah. Well and not the new G unit, but Ride Again. The new artists that are coming out. You you'll hear from Parry. Parry is a female artist on the joint. You'll hear uh Kid Kid. Okay. We heard you do a few tracks with him before. Yeah. But this is we we went out. So this is the the Rider Gang, is that what you said? This is it, yeah. Like Rider, like Rider. Okay. You see, it, it feels good, and then um, of course th there'll be some surprises. I don't want to blow it, but I, you know, I just think that when people hear the tape, they're gonna be surprised. It'll hold them over until my album comes. What What about the the fans that are expecting you to go back and ride over the hot beats and do like you did ten years ago? Cause like you know, like me, like I'm 25. But when when your first tape came I, out, I was so like. If I get any moans and groans after they hear this tape, cause I did I did over a a, a Bobby Womack joint. One. Oh really? Yeah, Bobby Womack. Most well, two. It's two of them. But I did a Bobby Womack joint and, and something else. But it's it's further back than just doing over someone else's record that just came out. So. I see that so often from new artists. They they follow the trend of what I did in that time period so often that it's been exhausted. It really has these yeah. days. It's it's a uh, a traffic jam in that area at this point. You know, like yeah, I've had people hand me CDs like yeah, check out my mixtape and not know that they handed it to me because of me. <laughs> you know, like to freestyle on a, a mixtape was to write 32 bars to. To do it in song format is what I did that was influential to the culture.